Hi everybody. Just a quick video today to take a look at some intersection enhancements that have been made to a recent release of InfoWorks 360, specifically around the area of ramps. So let's take a look and, and see how this works. I'm going to begin by creating some design roads. We'll just create two. Uh, the style isn't important, but we'll go ahead and grab this one with a sidewalk. And I'll pick my points to define the first road. And then we'll come right back and we'll create another design road using the same style and just create what we would typically see as a regular intersection. When we do that, the intersection cleans up as we would expect and automatically adds some stop bars and arrows for our use. Now, the critical thing with intersections that we had in the past is they work fantastic for 90 degree angles, but if we were in areas where maybe we had merging lanes like around an airport or a shopping mall or something like that where the angles weren't necessarily 90, were instead 45 or even less, we'd want to create the, more of a ramp type of a situation. And the software didn't necessarily accommodate that. We had some workarounds to, to perform it before. But today, with the release from the February 2016 release of the software, we can now very easily create ramps. And to do this, what I'm going to uh, do is just grab the, the road that tees into the intersection here and as I pull past 45, maybe something a little more severe into this direction, we'll see that it automatically cleans up the intersection into more of a ramp configuration. Now having said that, I had lanes that went in both directions with this road as well as the other, which is why I've got uh, the opportunity now from this lane to take a turn and go in this direction. If that's not my intent, I can easily clean that up by going ahead and, and having that road selected and adjusting some of the lanes. Like in this case, I'm not going to have the uh, reverse lanes. We just want to have something that's going to merge into the lane that's on the uh, east side. So I'm going to set this to zero for lanes backward. And when I do, it automatically cleans that up. I think I'm going to do the same. Let's say this is maybe a loop road around the airport or something like that. Instead of having two-way traffic, we'll just change this lane such that both are going the same direction. So we'll perform the same thing. We'll set our lanes backward to zero, and we'll set our lanes forward to two. In doing so, once again, we see our geometry update, and we get a more of a traditional ramp type of a configuration for our intersection. Now, at the same time, we also uh, would like to take note of the fact that if I select the intersection that's created, we see that there's a widening area, which is kind of an acceleration lane, as well as a taper that tapers back into the lane that we'll be merging into with our ramp. If I were to select this and come over and look at the uh, contextual menu that's on the side here, I can uh, configure those areas either with the grips or I can configure them with specific numbers by modifying these over on the side. At the same time, the uh, transition that we're looking at in this case is a straight line transition. I'd have you note that there's also the ability that I can uh, modify the transition so that it's maybe linear, uh, curve, tangent, curve, curve, reverse curve. So we've got several different ways to clean up the transition of our uh, ramp or our additional lane as it merges into the, uh, the lane of the, uh, the road that we'll be connecting in with. So we've got multiple options to configure this uh, different ways to meet the needs of your uh, intersection or your needs with your project as you uh, go ahead and start to doing the construction with your roadways. So once again, this is just a brief video on ramps to show how uh, the intersection tool has been enhanced. Uh, once again, this is also available in the February 2016 release of InfoWorks 360 and forward. Hope this helps, and we'll see you again soon.